Hi guys, in this video, we are going to understand how to develop the iPhone application using Xcode IDE. So what we have to do is we have to first of all open the app store if you do not have IDE of Xcode go to the develop section once you go to the develop section then you will have an option of it as you will see it on the screen about the Xcode so I have already installed the Xcode so it's not showing me to be downloading but if you have not installed you simply go to the develop section go to Xcode click on one cloud sign will be there just like this one as you can see it's for BB edit like this kind of icon will be there and you can simply click on it it will take some time because it's almost 12 to 13 GB file and from that you can simply install it once you have done the installation you have to just click here and the apps code will be open or also you can simply open up from here so now you can close this app store section now this is the X code IDE and from which we can develop several application for the iPhone Mac OS and Apple watches and every other kind of application this is the latest version of Xcode which is version 13 so what we are going to do here we are going to develop a simple hello world app in which we will see what are the things required for that so I'll click on create new Xcode project and as I will do this layout will open now you can see here we have a multi-platform option first app document app game app safari extension app swift package when we click on the ios we have a app game and augmented reality app sticker pack app and so many other options are there also we can also develop the application for our mac system and you can just scroll it and you can see what are the things plugins and everything you can create it over here screen saver app plugins watch as i told you apple watch you have seen the apple watches from for that also you can simply create the application tv apple tvs also can be used for this application and from here you can develop the application so overall this xcode ide which is called ide is integrated development environment is provided free of course open source from apple so if you do have a mac a laptop you can simply use it simple configuration for the mac system if you are buying like macbook pro a macbook air it should be like approximately if i5 8 gb is more than enough as my system is also there you can see here about this mac so i'm using version 11.5 mac big Sur, is having a 8 gb with i5 that is more than enough for your application and you can simply develop the app so i will click on ios click on this application and click on next now it will ask me the product name so whatever the product name i'm going to create so i will create one simple hello world app second thing is the team team will have an option for that whenever you are working in some company then you will have a team option or if you have bought the developer account of the apple store then that is called that is actually for 99 dollars so once you have that you will have a login id and password we will see that in future videos how we can have a team options so right now we can use it one thing very important in Xcode, you can develop the application and you can run the emulator, but without the developer license or you can say developer account, you cannot deploy it in your iPhone. That's one of the things with the Apple. Second thing is your organization identifier. So I have some organization identifier is a reverse of some domain name. So I'll just put it hello world. Now it's showing as bundle identifier. This will be showing there. Now the interface interface will be storyboard and Swift UI. We will go through the storyboard. It will be quite easy for you to use it. We can also see that with the help of Swift UI in future videos. Now, the language we are going to use it here is Swift, and Objective C is there also. So we can use. We have to use the Swift because Swift is the latest language. It's quite very nice. We don't have to touch any of this, and we'll simply click on Next. Once you click on Next, it will ask us where to save the app. So I will click on the desktop. Other apps are there also. So I'll click on simple create folder and I will do that iPhone apps. So you should also make one folder in which you can simply copy all your files and whatever files you are going to create the iPhone applications in future. 
create Git repository on my Mac. If you are new and you do not know what is Git, you will learn it into future videos. Git is actually used for your version controlling. So we will not touch that and we will simply click on create. As we click on create, you can see here, hello world is created. Now, if you go ahead, then you will have a lot of other files to be created over here. Now, hello world is created and simply our application is being created where we can see a lot of other options here. This is our ID. This is the left section is your project explorer. And here you have different signing ca capabilities and so many other things are there. You can show that display name also. On the right side, there's a different, different options. The most important thing what we're going to do is here, we'll click on this main. When we click on this main, we will have a simple small layout will be there. And in this layout, we can just simply do one thing. We will put one label. That is the hello world I'm showing to you. I will just put one label here. And I will put it as a hello world. So now this hello world is created and I can simply just put it into the center. Now it's done. Now if you have to run it, we will require the emulator and with the help of emulator, we can simply see that. But there are other things also here, which is important. We are going to learn it into future videos. So see you guys in another video tutorial in which we will see how to create an emulator and how to create and what is actually the Xcode ID, how does it actually works. We'll I will give you a complete tour of it and you will understand everything. So see you guys in next video.